My name is Rusty Featherstone and today I'm at the University of Texas at Austin to figure out if you should go here. In order to evaluate the school, I'll be using four categories. Traditions, sports, social life, and food. Welcome. Okay. For the first time in my life, I will not be going back to school this fall. Instead, I'm visiting schools across the country to see what they're all about and tell you whether or not you should go there. I'm an adult now with a grown-up job and bills to pay, which is great, but traveling every week hasn't given me much practice doing basic adult things. I've been putting like six Tide Pods in. Is that too many? I think you put one in, honey. Hungry Man Backyard Barbecue. I eat this for every meal. Not ashamed of it. Kind of a strange question. There's like money coming out of my account each week. I mean, everybody has to pay taxes. To the government? I just don't get it. Like, can we just like not do it? No, that's illegal. We are a real company that pays people legally, and I, you have to pay your taxes. Anyways, I have a job to do. This week, we have the University of Texas, Austin. My first stop was to get a traditional Texas outfit at Allen's Boots. Hey, hear me out, Rusty. They're not screaming to me. I'm such an idiot. I suck at this. Um, we need a head turner, like these guys. I like the other ones. It's a lot of like seven, three, eight, seven and a half. Yeah, so that's I like, I heard that's I like I average. Be, I bet I got you. That's like, that's like pretty much average. Girls don't even like it if it's bigger <laughs> well, than that. <laughs> On our way out, I began to hear whispers about an abandoned brothel. A well-dressed local by the name of Dylan offered to take us, and I accepted. Dylan. Dylan Luke. Dylan Aaron, it's a pleasure. Nice How the hell you. are you? Dylan. How's it going, man? How the hell are you? Nice to meet you. Pleasure, man. Where are y'all from? I'm from Maine originally. Maine, nice. My dad's from Des Moines, Iowa. Yeah, from the area. <laughs> what? What, what, a what about you boys? Where are y'all from? Uh, I'm from, from Maine. Maine. My dad's from Des Moines. <laughs> no, uh... <laughs> Do you know, like, an old brothel that was in the area? <laughs> I don't. Okay. Oh Nailed God. it. Right. I feel like we already missed it. No, you didn't, brother. No, Six no, no. <laughs> the brothel. Oh! Oh, actually, yeah, I wasn't really looking for it. Despite his enthusiasm, Dylan had no idea where the brothel was and took us to his favorite watering hole instead. This is awesome. This is before any outside, like, yeah. influence. This, this is This bar opened three years ago. This is old Austin. <laughs> 2019. <laughs> Dylan even taught me a dance that the natives call the two-step, which I picked up very quickly. Your dad always told me this was legal. Driving around. Like, My I, dad did tell me that. Yeah. No, it was just pissed him off. It's just because it's harder to drive. Yeah. It's not illegal. Not illegal it? at all. Wow. The last time I went to jail, it's called the duck story. The captain said I couldn't catch a duck, and one flies at me, and I catch it by the neck. Not legally speaking, it dies in the struggle. It did die in the struggle. I didn't do anything to impede its death. They put my fucking duck in an evidence bag. <laughs> <laughs> After one night with Dylan, I had caught the bug. I had an unquenchable thirst for more of the old Austin, and there was only one group of guys for the job. The Silver Spurs. The Silver Spurs are a ragtag group of modern day cowboys who take care of the school's prized longhorn, Bevo. Okay, so we're in a, an organization on campus. We were founded in 1937. We handle Bevo, our mascot. And we do we shoot the cannon at the game. Yeah, yeah. And Bevo's kind of like our main thing. There's like four guys who are selected to be handlers. What does this mean when, when cowboys do this? It adds a little bit of zest to, to the <laughs> saying howdy, you know? What is reverse cowboy? Oof. Do you like John Wayne? I love John Gacy. Wayne. Uh, you guys like cowboy movies. Yeah. You like all the classics. Yeah. Rango. Yeah. Brokeback Mountain. Call Me By Your Name. Anytime it's two guys just hanging out being cowboys, it's awesome. That's kind of what we're doing right now. Right. Two guys hanging yeah, out definitely. being cowboys. Definitely. The Texas sun is hot, and Daddy was fixing to cool down, and the Silver Spurs knew just the place. A saloon exclusively for real cowboys to sit down, have a soda, and trade stories from our time on the frontier. That's the best food we can get out here in Austin. It's gotta be Terry Black's. Great barbecue. barbecue. Great barbecue. What do we get? Brisket? Everything. Hey, welcome, guys. You guys, this is old school analog Texas cooking, y'all. This mitt you see right here, this is literally from 1932, guys. So we're out here babysitting 24 hours a day, guys. These are my babies. Guys, if you're not paying attention, stay organized throughout this whole process it's not gonna turn out good. That's why we say salt, pepper, smoke, and a lot of love, guys. That's all we're really cooking with. I'm a bit of a spice man myself. The closest that I've ever come to this. I don't know if you're familiar with 
Hungry Man. They're the TV dinners. Hungry Man, Backyard Barbecue. I'm very familiar. I add the salt. And the love, man. Right? That's all you need, right? We keep it simple out here, but again, the salt and the pepper, guys, right? I think brisket is the best food in the world. I don't think it would even crack my top 100. Top 100? The amount of times that he said, guys. We gotta run the, run the footage on how many times he said, guys. I bet he said it over 47 times. Welcome, guys. Guys, 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 big guys, the little guys, guys. Our new friend said, guys, a whopping 56 times during our small interaction. Anyways, after eating the weight of a small pony in mac and cheese and brisket, I headed to our biggest event of the weekend, our party at the Rustic Tap. It's up there! We get it! Pop Warner West! It's sweating. It is inconceivably hot in here. I'm throwing a dime. Is this the legal distance? Yeah, you got it. I'm kind of confident. It's good. It's so dehumanizing. Oh, Alright, you guys excited for this? I... Be honest. No. Are you honest? No. Of course not. Of course not. He's 27. I want to go home. I want to lay down. We'll Everyone? have a good time. We'll have a I'm a guy, I'm gonna shotgun a fucking beer. During the fall in Texas, Saturday is a holy day. Their place of worship is Darrell K. Royal Stadium, and their god is a 20-year-old boy named Quinn. A ton of air falling underneath it. Warby's got it for a touchdown, Texas! <laughs> I'm trying to hold in like a big bomb right now. Takes off. After returning to Los Angeles, something was weighing heavy on my soul. It felt like my time in Austin was rooted in nostalgia, with each experience feeling like a love letter to the city's past. I began to wonder, am I like Austin? Are my best years behind me and I'm stuck pining for the euphoria of my undergrad years? Then I remembered something my new friend Dylan said. I'm not happy today, I'm not happy yesterday, I'm not happy tomorrow, I'm happy every day, man. I made a promise to myself that every day was gonna be the best day of my life. I realized, while change is uncomfortable, it's necessary. Like Austin, I'm entering a new phase of my life, and scary as that can be, Dylan made me realize that I can appreciate the good times I've had while welcoming the even better ones to come as I take baby steps to becoming a full-fledged adult. Fantastic news. I looked into that tax stuff we were talking about the other day. Like, I saw them filling a pothole outside the office. Our tax dollars at work. Anyways, it's gonna be the 8.1. You should probably go there if you can get in.